Yeah, because you've got Shrek's Adventure there, and I think the London Dungeons is the one next. Yeah, the London Dungeons is the one next door where that red sign is. Oh, yeah. And the Sea of Life Centre, I think, is next door to that. Um, I didn't film an intro because I had a really, really busy uh, Sunday. Um, I went to my boyfriend and stayed over and then we, tr we travelled up. So um, basically on the Monday we got dressed, we went to Tesco to get some snacky bits for the train and then we made our way up there. So um, yeah, I didn't do an intro. So as you've seen, um, we went to the Harry Potter on location. It was absolutely fabulous. So anyone who is a huge Potter fan, I would recommend going. Um, obviously, you've seen what's what's kind of in there. Um, I didn't want to give too much away because I know it's very new and not you know not many people have actually been yet. Um, when we went, there was literally um, four of us in there, so it was really really quiet, which I suppose is nice because then you can just take your time round and. Um, you know, you don't have to wait for people to look at the photos. We literally spent, I think we spent about 45 minutes in there and then we spent about 15, 20 minutes in the Butterbeer Cafe. Um, so yeah, it was really, really nice, really, really nice and quiet. Um, I had a few little costumes in there from the films. They had a few little props. Um, as you've seen at the beginning, they had the... Um, a Weasley car um, that's one of two from what the lady was saying who worked there it was one of two of the Weasley cars um, I know the other ones in the big Warner Brothers studios um, so yeah that was the second one which I used um, so that's really really nice that was a fabulous way to start the whole exposition um, so yeah it was a really really fabulous day um, I shall link the website below if you were interested in going. However, I just kind of wanted to pop on at the end of this video because I wanted to show you a few little bits which I got in the shop. Um, and then that's kind of it for this uh, week's YouTube. Um, I have a few more exciting things to come up. Um, I am going to the Fantastic Beasts exposition at the Natural History Museum next month. Um, I'll probably just go on my own, um, I tend to do quite a lot on my own because my boyfriend works seven days a week so sometimes I just have to crack on with what I need to do so I'm going to go up there because I really want to see that, apparently it's really really good um, and then on that same day I might pop to Oxford Street and go to the Harry Potter um, Primark store because I know they've got a whole floor of Harry Potter so I'm going to take you around there so I'll do that one day and then another day I want to go to the Van Gogh um, live um, you've probably already seen it on Instagram not sure because tickets get released every Tuesday I think I think just due to Covid uh, restrictions I'm guessing um, so I need to try and get tickets for that um, and there's a few more things which are coming up because obviously we go, we're going on holiday in September so obviously I'll vlog that to Cornwall um, and then Harry Potter I don't know if any of you know um, have launched another attraction which is actually quite far from us it's near Manchester way um, so it's going to be like a four hour four and a half hours I think it is away um, so we're going to do an overnight stay so they basically opened up a new attraction it's a I think it's a light show um, so it's opening in autumn because obviously it's better in the dark obviously um, I don't know too much about it but again I should link it below if you're interested I think the tickets go on sale from this week um, so that's gonna be really really cool it's called um, is it called Harry Potter I think it's Harry Potter the Forbidden Forest or something like that but it's basically you go you're gonna go through some woods and it's gonna have loads of different lights and you see all the creatures from the Harry Potter films and the Fantastic Beasts films and I think they've got sound effects and you know all that kind of thing so 
it looks really really good from what I've seen so far so um, I'm going to book them this week and we're going to try and go in November um, so that's going to be another trip and then I'm booking I'm just babbling on now with all the things I'm going to be doing um, and then I'm going to be booking a they've got a friends fest at Christmas time um, at the Truman Brewery and Brick Lane so I'm going to go to that probably again on my own um, because my boyfriend's not a massive fan of friends um, so I'll probably go to that on my own I'm not quite sure what it is I don't know if it's a set of friends um, but that's news I'm going to try and get tickets to that I think the tickets to that are about £30 or something um, so I'll probably do that and then I'll go around the vintage shops in Brick Lane so that'll be another day so yeah I have some really really exciting things coming up hopefully if we don't go back into lockdown I mean none of us know what this Covid's happening at the moment um, so yeah back to what I bought um, in the Harry Potter shop so the shop um, I didn't feel much in there um, it was a typical like museum kind of shop it wasn't very big but there was enough to there to kind of buy some souvenirs um, obviously it's not as big as all the other Harry Potter shops you get around London um, so first of all I just wanted to show you this so you've obviously just seen my video um, and they have the Butterbeer calf in the Harry Potter on location it's the only Butterbeer calf I think um, in London, I don't know if it's the only one, I think it's the only one in the UK as well, but you can only go there if you book tickets to the exposition, so um, yeah, so the tickets to the exposition was 19, no, £20, pounds. Um, and yeah, you can spend a good hour and a half in there, and then obviously at the end, they have this lovely butterbeer calf, so in there, um, it was bottled butterbeer, and then you get one of these cups, so obviously, you can take this back with you. Um, my boyfriend didn't take one back because he just thought it was too much clutter. So I just we just kept one as a little souvenir. So it came in a bottle. It wasn't the same kind of um, butter beer as the one you get at London Warner Brothers. This one was more fizzy. Um, I would say the one you get at Warner Brothers is more creamy. Um, my opinion, people have said they preferred the bottled one. I know you can buy it on the website as well. Um, however, for me personally, I prefer the one at the Warner Brothers Studio because I prefer the creaminess. I think the one at the Warner Brothers was... For me, it tastes a bit more like a... Is it those Werther's you get? Um, it tastes like that in a drink. And this one was just more fizzy and for me personally it was more gassy um so yeah you get one of them I think it was £6.25 something like that £6.50 for a bottle and one of these you can you can easily take a bottle home if you didn't fancy it at that point um and obviously like I said they sold them in the shop as well um but I think if you go there you want to experience the Butterbeer Calf um because how they decorated it obviously like you would have seen it was just so so nice obviously again we were literally only two in there um and the seatings were like you were sitting in barrels it was really really nice and then they had little snacky bits you could get food there um but we went to bills afterwards um near london victoria um but yeah you could get food and i had you could get food there i think they did vegan i think the butter beer was vegan as well because i'm sure somebody asked um and then they had these lovely little cupcakes with like Gringotts uh, coins on and the chocolate frog you would have seen again I don't know why I'm just repeating what you've just seen um, but it was really really nice so any Harry Potter fan or if you just like going to film expositions and seeing things like that it, it's really really good it is one to go and see I think it's permanent now because it's in the um, London film museum so I think it's a permanent thing I've actually got rid of the London film museum um so yeah that was kind of the first item I got so that would definitely be a nice little souvenir to put on my collection if I go to Harry Potter place I'm always going to get something um so everything is pretty much wrapped in this really nice um tissue paper so obviously it's all Harry Potter themed so first item I got was because I've got a pin collection, it's the Time Turner pin, um, if you guys can see. So yeah, I thought that was really, really nice. Um, that was £4.95, so that would definitely be going on my pin board. 
Um, and then the other one I got, because obviously we went into the butterbeer cap, I wanted to get a butterbeer souvenir. Um, so I got this really nice key ring. I thought it was really really nice and um, that was £6.95 and um, it also came in a pin no this design didn't come in a pin in that shop I'm not sure about online um, however they did have some butterbeer pins as well um, but I I kind of preferred that design so that's why I wanted to get the key ring but I'll probably again put it on my pin board um, and then this actually wasn't on the day I didn't get this on the day because I'm a gold member of the Wizarding World. Um, I get access to uh, I get access to the first pins which launch. So I picked up this one. Um, oh my table's going down. Um, I think this was about nine pounds or something. I can't quite remember. Um, but this is another pin I got which I thought was really really nice. Um, it's a profession uh, professor. McGonagall ping um, when she puts that spell on the castle at the end of the film but I thought that was really really nice to add to my pin collection obviously there's so many I need to get um, so but yeah because they can you know pins can be very pricey you know you are talking sometimes pins can go up to like 15 pounds sometimes so yeah I just kind of get when I can and then this is you can also get some photo opportunities in the expedition, similar to the ones which you may get at the Warner Brothers Studios. Um, they do the broomsticks like you get at the other place. Um, so obviously you're in front of this green screen and they put a background. Um, and I think they did get in images and videos. You can also get a video. And then another thing which I actually haven't seen before, you can get printed a Ministry of Magic identity card. Um, and you basically have your photo in the book, which I thought was really, really nice. I thought it was really nice as a little um, memory. Obviously, again, that will go on my little collection display. Um, the only thing I would say, I do think they're a little, little bit pricey just for kind of what you get, because this is basically just cardboard and then they've printed my image there. I mean, you can probably easily make one of these. Um, but I just thought, it's a memory. Obviously, I don't know if I'll go back to the Harry Potter on location. Um, I think now, once I've done it, I probably won't go back because it is just like a photography expedition. It's, you know, with the Warner Brothers, you'll definitely keep going because uh, they keep adding to it as well. And there's always new things and there's new themes. And let's say add to the expedition. I don't know if I would particularly go again. Um, so I thought um, this was great. Um, as a little memory thing um, so you can add your date of birth icon and things like that but I don't really want to draw in it because I think I'm going to ruin it um, so yeah I thought that was really really nice <laughs> so yeah do I say the price it was £20 for this and I think the photographs were 15 but please double check so that was basically everything I bought um, so um i really hope you enjoyed watching my video if you did please go give it a good thumbs up and subscribe i've got so many lovely videos coming up um i've only been doing this like properly for five weeks um and i really appreciate everyone subscribing um and yeah like i said i've got so many nice i just said that didn't i i've got so many nice <laughs> Um, outings out so um, I do really really appreciate it not sure what's coming up next week um, I'm thinking maybe some craft videos because I haven't actually done one of them yet since I kind of relaunched my YouTube um, um, so yeah I hope you all have a really nice week and I shall see you soon